Here's a really tricky topic. Teachers and professors love to ask questions about this, and you often see it show up on tests like the AP, the SAT2, and the MCAT. So here's the sort of question you might see. What kinds of bonds are in NaNO3? Ionic or covalent? Think about this for a second. Now a lot of people say ionic bonds, but the correct answer is actually both. Both ionic and covalent bonds are in NaNO3. Let's talk about this. So if you're thinking ionic, you may have been reasoning that sodium, Na, can form a 1 plus ion, and you may have recognized NO3 from uh, the list of polyatomic ions. It's a polyatomic ion known as nitrate, and it has a charge of 1 minus, and so the Na plus and the NO3 1 minus, because they have opposite charges, will stick together just like magnets because of ionic bonds. So you're totally right that NaNO3 does have ionic bonds. They hold the Na plus together with the NO3 minus. To understand where the covalent bonds come in, we've got to talk a little bit about this NO3. So let's zoom in on this so that we can see the actual atoms. Here's the Na plus, and now here's nitrate. Nitrate's a polyatomic ion, which means that it has a whole bunch of atoms stuck together in a clump, and then this whole clump has a negative charge. So here's the thing. As we've said, ionic bonds hold these guys together, but what holds the atoms together in the nitrate clump? That is covalent bonds. So for example, there's a covalent bond between this O and the N here, holding them together. There's also a covalent bond here and a covalent bond here. We can really show this if we look at Lewis structures. So here's Na+. Now here's the Lewis structure for nitrate, NO3. These lines between atoms show that they're sharing electrons and they're connected because of covalent bonds. So there's a covalent bond here, here, and here holding together the atoms in nitrate. And then there is an ionic bond between all of nitrate that has this negative charge and Na+. So what kinds of bonds are in NaNO3? Ionic bonds holding the two ions together, but then covalent bonds holding together all of the atoms that make up this polyatomic ion.